Hello and welcome to New Filmmakers Los Angeles. My name is Danny DeLillo. I am here with Marie with her fantastic movie Split Ends. Let's take a look at the clip. Uh, Maria, so happy to have you back. This is so great. Uh, for anyone who doesn't know, this is your second film you've had with us, which is fantastic. Um, and so happy to do this in person with you. Um, for those that haven't seen it, tell us a brief synopsis. Um, so Split Ends is about a Cuban-American girl who uses a school assignment to ask her father about his upbringing and Cuban identity. Yeah, I mean, it's a beautiful movie between uh, you know a daughter and a father. And I was just, from the first shot, I was captivated. I loved the close-ups and stuff. I was like in it from the very, very, very beginning. Um, but I was gonna say like, where did the inspiration come for you in, in creating this story? Uh, the inspiration definitely came from my own relationship with my dad. And it's definitely a very personal story. Um, and I think I just wanted to talk about the relationship that I find with first-generation kids and their mm -hmm. parents. Um, I think there's such a like, desire to know what their life was like before they came to the U.S. or anywhere that they came to. And from my father's perspective, his upbringing has a lot of trauma associated with it. And so it's not something that he wants to easily share. And so I wanted to tell a story that talked about that di dichotomy and that neither of them are wrong. Like, both of them have opposing perspectives on the issue, but there's no right or wrong answer to mm -hmm, it. So mm -hmm. I was just interested in trying to put all of those complexities and nuances yeah. into a conversation. It was, I'm, I'm like, I, I'm like so glad you made this film because I'm sure it's what a lot of people have got questions of their parents. And then, of course, it's so tough when it's, some, some situations are very traumatic to talk about, but it's a conversation that you want to have, you know what I mean? You want to get to know your parents, understand you and where you're from and, and, and everything. And I, I love that it was just being asked, even as uncomfortable as it, as it was, obviously, for these characters. Um, for you personally, like, I, I was so impressed with the dad and, and the daughter. Like, I just thought they just delivered an incredible performances. Um, how did you find them? Because I just, they were brilliant. So I made the film, this was my first short that I made outside of film school. Um, and so I was kind of going through a shift of like, how do I do all of these phases without the structure mm -hmm. that school gave me? Um, and so I was just really getting back to the roots of everything. Mm -hmm. um, so I went myself to cast the actors and I reached out to a bunch of different Latinx organizations as well because it was difficult on my own to be a casting director yeah, in yeah, the yeah. city. Um, but Karina, who played the lead, had never acted before. She was just getting interested in it. And when she sent me her self tape, I just believed her and and it felt so genuine and, and real of this girl who is scared to have this conversation, yeah. but is genuinely so curious. And then Carlos, who played the father, was incredible and came from a theater background. So rehearsing with him was just amazing because he wanted to do everything multiple times and go in depth on what every line meant, what he was actually trying to say or hide in his line. So he was incredible to work with. and. And he was sharing with me that he had found in the past that he would be typecast into a bunch of roles of being mm -hmm. like in the cartel and, and things yeah. that are just so like just crazy to me that he's so talented and then was so like talented. limited to those roles. So it was incredible, even though this was a short film and, and a low budget film, that it was an opportunity for him to show that 
he's a very complex person who can he's play brilliant. as many characters yeah. as possible. Yeah, and yeah. I mean, and, and, and wow, he really delivered a great performance. And talking about the, you know, because listen, I'm, all, I'm very sad that I didn't get taught Italian being my dad's Italian, like, and I'm very sad about that. And I think you made a big point of like, you know, why didn't you teach me Spanish? Like, you know what I mean? Like, like why? And of course, what comes with that? Like, I thought it was such a great conversation to sort of bring into the, into the movie. Um, but like, for your audience perspective, knowing that a lot of people have kind of gone through these experiences, have parents, what did you want your audience to take from it? I think maybe pushing people to have these conversations about um, where your parents came from because they're so invested in you and your life that mm -hmm. it just scares me the idea of these memories and experiences from their childhood not being passed down. Yeah. And and there's still so much that I want to know about my dad that I still don't. And, yeah. and I think I just wanted to highlight to me the danger of these elements not passing down to the next yeah. generation. And I, I mean, I, I honestly say I think United States is the, that country itself has got a part to play in that because it kind of suppresses, you know, mm -hmm. um, the, the beauty of heritage and the beauty of, mm -hmm. of culture and family that you can bring into this country. Mm -hmm. And, you know, and like Cuba is just a beautiful, a beautiful country of beautiful people, right? Mm -hmm. And like, you know, he wanted to come here and, and be American, but it's like, what, whatever that is, right? But I love that you brought that, brought the, the, the kind of, the, the, there's a beauty in the, in the heritage and, and where you're from. And I think, you know, there's a lot of suppression here. And I, I just was like, no, like, you know, I think the United States has a part to play too about how it does that as well. And like, you know, the beauty of just celebrating who you are and where you're from, you know, did you kind of think a, bit, a lot about that too? I think there's so much pressure to just assimilate into an American identity and I know that my parents felt that pressure and I just wish that wasn't the case because there's so much beauty to all the different cultures that mm -hmm. are in this country yeah. and, and I wanted to make something too that represented that because I think that's a generational thing as well. I think that the generation before and where my parents are feel that pressure and don't question it as yeah. much where I think my generation is just questioning why are these systems and things in place that don't need to be there right and let's celebrate yeah you know our, our story our families our everything right you know yeah. Um, I love that. Was, how was it being, I mean, I know you returned back to us, we can't be that bad new filmmakers, but how was it particularly being part of the new filmmakers LA with the Academy, celebration of Latinx filmmakers, this whole beautiful thing that got to experience this past few days, how was that for you? It's been surreal and crazy that I've been in a couple festivals now that are Latinx focused and I'm like recognizing like the community of of filmmakers at this stage and it's it's great to find a sense of community within us mm -hmm. and that we're all rising up at this point together yeah. um but this was also brought up at the q a yesterday that each film was so unique and different and it's crazy to me just how talented everyone is and and how different everyone's stories are. Mm -hmm. I think a lot of the times from an outside perspective, people think that stories from one community are just gonna be about one thing. Right, right, right. And then if you actually take the effort to watch people's films, they're about such different things because yeah. everyone has a completely unique perspective and what they wanna talk about. So I feel like the best experience aside from the fact that this festival is incredible, was just meeting everyone mm -hmm. and, and seeing their stories. Yeah, well, we can't do that great storytelling, so that you do. Um, what is next for you? So this short is basically a scene that I want to be in a feature um, <laughs> about this father and daughter. Mm -hmm. um, and so I'm working on a feature about a father and daughter that's traveling back to Cuba for the first time <gasps> oh since the God. father left. Yeah. So you're gonna, have, you're, gonna, you're gonna film a little bit in Cuba too, I think? I'm not so. at that stage yet, but yes, I definitely want to film that's there. That's gonna be so special, oh my goodness. Um, well, 
I'm so glad there's more. I'm, I'm, I'm ready for it. I'm waiting for the feature. So, you know, whatever you need to do, I'm <laughs> just kidding. Um, but no, thanks so much for Split Engine. Thank you. And I just want to pass on how wonderfully this was shot, the great cinematography, production design, like all those elements were just, they look beautiful. So mm -hmm. well on to your, your team for that as well. Thank you. And can you keep coming back with more movies for us, please? Yes. Yeah, okay, good. Okay, yes. perfect. Um, thank you so much um, for Split Ends and everybody. Appreciate you so much. Thank you. Thank you.